you've had a long history as far as goat farming is concerned. Yes, yes. Um, we've been. Uh, I was raised on a goat farm. Um, my mum and dad bred um, Toggenbergs and Alpines back in England, and um, it's just something that I've enjoyed. I like the goats. Um, I married my husband, who was a Holstein man, and he, at the time, didn't want to milk any goats and breed them, but slowly as the years have gone on, so um, we've got back into breeding goats again. Getting back into breeding goats, that was because of a health issue. That's correct, yeah, I have a few various health issues and I can't um, tolerate cow's milk. So um, I tried the goat's milk and realised that um, was better for me. So really it went from a hobby into a business? It did, well I brought home four goats, turned into ten goats and then they got seriously into the breeding of it and um, now we're milking 50 this year. And what's the market for the milk? At the moment um, we're just rearing calves with it. Um, my husband does a lot of embryo transplants and calf um, rearing like that so all the calves um, enjoy the goat's milk and they, most calves do better on it as well than what they do the cow's milk. It's interesting the number of people who would prefer to buy goat's milk but they can't find it in the supermarket. It's hard to find. Um, I think because the amount of cost that goes into um, to setting a factory room and there's a lot of rules and regulations it puts a lot of people off um, and the, the big goat co-op on the North Island, it's all exported and very little of it is kept within the domestic market. Which is a shame because a lot of people would prefer to have some sort of milk but that then they're allergic to cow's milk. Yeah, um, yeah, it's hard. Um, yeah, we've contemplated looking at um, putting our own factory um, room in but it is the rules and regulations that put you off. There's a lot of loopholes. Um, sorry, there's, there's a lot of rules to be followed. and a lot, of, a lot of hoops to jump hoops, through. That's the word, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So where to, as, as the industry, I mean, is, is, are people looking at it really seriously now? Yes. Um, obviously, um, the amount of um, money you get for the literage of goat's milk um, is very appealing. Um, a lot of people um, are looking at it for the um, $7 a litre. Um, that you, you can seem to be selling it for. So a lot of people doing a lot of research. There's a few breeders out there are doing their own cheeses as well. And um, yeah, they seem to be doing very well with it. With all due respect, goat farming was sort of looked down upon by dairy farmers, but that may change. Yes, um, I think there's a big demand um, for it's growing. Um, it's, and it's very, becoming very popular, especially with health um, issues like myself. People realize that it's a better alternative. You were stud breeding? Yes, yes, we stud breed Sarnans, which is the white goats, and Tockenbergs, which is the brown goats. So, big question, how many have you got now, considering you started with four? Okay, so um, our biggest bulk is Sarnans, so we'd have about 40 milking does, um, that are um, from pedigree down to um, being bred up for pedigree, and I have about 10-ish 15 maybe, um, Toggenbergs, they're a bit more of a handful so we keep those numbers a bit lower and the Sarnans are the real placid, nice and easy goats to handle. 40 goats, you're milking by hand or do you have machines? A uh, machine, I would have very big hands if it was by, if I did hand milking. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a bit expensive to set up. Um, yes, yes, so we bought um, a platform for them a few years ago and we bought um, a machine um, that milks um, four at a time, um, but yeah, it was it's worth doing, um, and you know, for the, for the, uh, the milk. And of course, you can monitor each animal and what they're producing. Yep. So we herd test um, uh, LIC. Um, we do all the solids um, testing for us, and um, so we know exactly what each animal is doing. Um, at the moment, we're averaging um, four percent fat and three percent protein, and our top goat is producing just over ten percent solids. So you'll be thrilled about that. Mm. Yeah, I was very, very pleased this year's um, her test, our first one to get. It's brilliant. Yep. <laughs>